What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, another Mon Monday. This was uh, supposed to be a birthday present, but it came like probably two months late because it's coming from China. But I finally got them. Um, also, this video is sponsored. So let's get that sponsor right now. This video is sponsored by Autovox. Basically what they make are rear view mirrors with like screens built into them and dash cams built into them. So to me, that's like amazing because not only is it like a rear view camera, but it's a dash cam and it just goes over your factory uh, rear view mirror. So this is version five that they have. So yeah, this is gonna be one of the best products ever featured on this channel. So, um, if I can open this, maybe, there it is. Okay, sorry for the camera angle. I got this new uh, wide angle phone. So, so yeah, this is it. This looks very nice. But let me go get awesome. a tripod. So, ooh. This is very nice. This is, this is, um, in case, you know, something goes wrong. I mean, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, instructions. Probably won't need this, but we'll see. Wow. That is, check this out. And you can see, I don't know if you can see this, um, but, the edge of the display right there. So yeah, let's see, this looks. So this is the back of it, this is the dash cam and it moves around and comes out. Um, so depending on how your camera needs to be mounted, like see my windshield, if uh, I need to move it somehow or whatever, it's, it's it can do that. Very, very thoughtful of them to do that. Got your micro SD, USB-C, GPS. This also has G GPS built into the unit as well. Well, not built in, but like in here. So like, it's just a wire. These are what hook around, I'll show you later, but this will hook around your factory um, rear view camera or rear view mirror. So yeah, this, I. This, so what this does is this goes on your windshield. So like, let's say this is your back windshield. It goes like this. So it, the backup camera can point back if you want to mount it to your rear um, windshield. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wire it uh, directly to the trunk. So I'm not going to need this. Um, uh, these are extra. The GPS module, as you can see here. Um, uh, that's gonna plug into the top. I'm gonna hide that somewhere so you can't see it. Um, this, this is, is this the rear view camera? This is humongous. Oh no, this is a cigarette lighter. So it takes USB-C. Yeah, just your normal standard backup camera. Wide angle lens, so this is your cheap $20 camera, and then this is the Autovox. You can already see the camera is already a lot better. I mean, look at that. Look at the sensor. So, it feels better. And what is it? Screws for the camera. Perfect. So, yeah, so this is, um, this is the input for the camera. So... Basically what you do is you can tap this into your reverse light. So when the reverse light goes on, your um, parking guards automatically turn on and turn off. As you can see, it just goes right over it, right over top. And uh, I'm gonna need to move my camera out a little bit like that. So you can see here, you just clip this into there. One, there's two, goes over. So yeah, there you go. It's, oh, I can still use it. So what I've done is I've gone right in the middle of these two buttons. Like, oh God. Yeah, it works. So I can still press those buttons, kind of difficult, 
But now my camera works. It's not in the way of the mirror. And look at this. It is a lot larger than my factory camera or rear view mirror. So that's a good thing as well. All right, so it's pretty much set up. I just gotta hide all the wires. But, basically, it's a normal mirror, right? And I can see a lot better than my OEM one because it's a little bit bigger, right? So, when I turn on the car, right, that's pretty sick. Now, for you, my weird, uh, I don't know, on camera. So you have your rear view camera. I don't need to record right now, so I'm gonna stop that. The camera is so wide. Look at this. So the camera is so wide, you can literally see everything, right? So now, if you go to switch a camera, hold on. Also, if you slide this way, you get your rear view camera and you can custom uh, make these to where your parking is i guess um so I, I i'm gonna have to i don't know how far my backup camera is right now i gotta fine tune that later but and then you go switch cameras so now this is basically what you're gonna be in drive mode so you got your backup camera there and then if you look hard enough if you focus you can see behind you but this will help you with your blind spots and then this is your front camera right here um your dash cam i guess you could say this is amazing and it tells you the date and the time and i that's very wrong i'm gonna have to change that in settings real quick all right so this is the final product um so basically when i go into reverse these automatically come up. Amazing, I love this thing so much. So this is cool, this is called driving mode. I don't know what it does, but we're gonna go find out here in a second. A little off right now, I'm going like 40. And it's, and it's, I might need to put the GPS in a better spot, I don't know. But for right now, I don't really care. It's uh, It's good. So yeah, um, here they are. If you don't know, like, uh, Rolls Royce, their wheels, um, their hubcap things, I don't, what it, center caps, they stay upright when you drive. And so that's basically what I got for my car. And um, basically, they also light up, which is kind of cool, um, at night when you spin them. So, let's take these off. I've always wanted these, and uh, now I have them. I think some other wheel companies do as well. I think maybe, I don't know, BMW has them um, that you can buy separately. But these are... Not from Lexus, these are aftermarket. Oh yeah, look, look. There it is. So yeah, it's kind of dirty in there, don't mind that. Um, but now... Oh, that's perfect, whoa. Maybe I might black this out actually. Perfect, whoa. 
Maybe I might black this out actually. And these don't have batteries. Um, they run they run off of like the uh, spinning power, I guess you could say. Uh yeah. Pretty sure these are gonna be like. These are sick. Whoa. These are gonna be sick when I get roller shots and stuff. So I'm gonna paint these. And I'll update you when they're that's black. what I'm going to do. I need to get a thinner Sharpie for down here. I'm going to use a better Sharpie for the outside, but this is just to test it. So it looks a lot better. You can actually see the logo, and it still lights up. Oh, God. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go um, get a better Sharpie here, and uh, I'll update you. She was never in there. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Go faster, go faster. It's not doing anything. Maybe if they go really fast, go down the street. Yeah, I know. I know they're upright though. Heck no. Oh, there they go. Yeah, he cut everything. Everything. The only thing that's left is the resonators and that's the very front. Everything else he... Mm -hmm. How do you even install those lights? Just in the circuit board? Just You take off the front and then there's wires pre-made for those lights. Okay. Yes! Yeah. It's very light.